In Wilkes County, students left school early after a threat was directed toward a number of schools. WXI 12's Chris Peterson spoke with the school district and a parent about the decision to dismiss. School officials felt the threat was serious enough to dismiss school early, leaving worried parents rushing to pick up their children. It, honestly, it terrifies me. I'm kind of nervous about it. Anxious parents started arriving a little before 11 a.m. at C.C. Wright Elementary School in Wilkes County. School was dismissed early at all Wilkes County schools after officials say they received a threat directed at multiple schools. Ashley Miller has two children at C.C. Wright. She says she would homeschool them if she could. I just think it's ridiculous that somebody would threaten kids in school when they're trying to learn and then have the parents worry as such as bad as we do. It's just something that I've always worried about and I don't like when I have to rush to get my kids from a place they should be safe at. We have not had a threat of this magnitude before. According to school officials, Wilkes County School Superintendent Mark Bird received a threatening email around 10 a.m. After talking with the Wilkes County Sheriff's Department, the decision was made to dismiss schools. All 22 schools in the Wilkes County system are being searched by law enforcement. School officials believe the email came from out of state, but out of an abundance of caution, felt it was best to send students home. So that each situation is going to be different and we're going to respond differently to each situation. But I think the importance is to continue doing safety drills with our students and our staff and to keep reiterating the fact that we're going to do everything that we can to keep our students and our staff safe. According to school officials, schools will operate on a normal schedule tomorrow. In Wilkes County, I'm Chris Peterson, WXII 12 News. Wilkes County Schools, not the only one in our area to send students home early. Yadkin County Schools made the same decision after getting a bomb threat. The district said it didn't believe this was a credible threat, but wants to make sure all students are safe.